play. So I think one of the best parts about giving a present is the card. Hey, April, you got to read the card first. <laughs> Sorry, Nat. To April, from Natalie. Oh, so naturally, I loved it when you were a kid and your parents would let you just sign your name on the bottom of a Christmas card and then when the gift is being given, voila, you get some credit for it. Thank you. And as I get older, this tradition continues. You know, groups of friends start chipping in on presents. My family still does it, my partner does it, everyone. You're still signing cards for presents that you haven't bought. But the more I do it, the more concerned I am that I'm going to fall into the trap I like to call the I have no idea what we got you trap. Ooh, what is it? I have no idea. I really don't. Because for some reason lately, I keep missing the gift opening, so this happens. Oh, Nat, I opened up your present. And did you like it? Well, how do you think it looks? How does it look? Look, it must have been clothes. I think... It's looking good. You, you got me that bowl over there. Oh, a bowl. That's a shit present. Jen, a bowl? How is that 50 bucks each? <laughs> Think someone profited from that. Or this happens. Hey Nat, what do you think of the earrings? I think they look delightful. Well, you know who got them for me? A lover. No, it was from, it said it was from you and your family. Oh. Nat, I found her earrings in this- Wrong her. That's a bit inappropriate. Mom, earrings? It's a bit intense. How is that 50 bucks each? But the whole idea of a joint present has always interested me. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love giving people presents. I love the thought behind it. But I love doing nothing much more. So I always feel kind of sorry for the person who gets chosen in the group to go and get the present. And I always think to myself, if that were me, and I did the present giving, and I had to go wrap it and buy it, and then I got someone else to sign the card and they didn't really give a crap, yeah, I wouldn't be so cool about it. And a lot of people out there must be as awful as I am. So why doesn't it go down like this? Oh wait, you gotta read the card first. Sorry. To Sam, from Lisa, Kim and Natalie. Oh, bless. You didn't write down what I told you to? It was too long. But all I wanted to say was have a Merry Christmas and I want... Oh, you got me batteries. Thank you. We told you to get her the perfume. Well, they don't sell perfume at the petrol station. Teachers, you're right for leaving me in charge. I'm only joking. It would be more like this. It would be... Oh, wait, you got to read the card first. Sorry. To Sam, from Natalie. Oh, Nat, thank you. You took our names off the card? Oh, you got me batteries. Thank you. That's right, in both scenarios she gets batteries. Anyway, I'll just stick to what I'm good at. Adding my name to the bottom of cards and hitching a ride to compliments, yeah. You remember there was always one kid at school who would never participate in the group assignment but would take all the credit for the grade? That's now me. I used to be that meek kid in school who always smelt slightly of cheese and grew grey hairs at a very young age. But look at me now. Now I'm the cool one. Don't ever let them tell you never, children. Anyway, let me know in the comments below. Are you a compliment hitchhiker? You just sign it away on the bottom of cards? Or are you the person who goes out there and puts thought into the gift? Are you a responsible adult? Boring. Let me know in the comments below. I'm not really a Christmassy person, but I hope you have a wonderful holiday season. I hope you enjoy the ambient lighting provided by Christmas lights and that you are surrounded by people who you love. Hopefully they know who you are, but if you love them, you're just putting the vibe out there. You know, you're just starting the conversation. Anyway, I hope you guys are really well. I'm sorry I haven't been making videos regularly, but I'll uh, insert lie. I hope you are also enjoying all the times of everything. Happy 2015. Okay, it's Bono Music slash comment time and I show you this because a lot of comments in my last video were describing the professor as a hot character and I'm just going to note down that many of you prefer me as a man. Some of you were also a little bit upset by my use of string as a glasses strap. Um, what am I, a billionaire? And also, I know you guys mock me because of how slow the chase scene was, but this was the most movement I've done in about five years. And for me to let you see me run, now just look at this top comment. We are a classy bunch on my videos, describing areas 
as lady gardens and then telling each other to make pearls in them. Oh man, and I don't know why, but I feel like this is more you prepping me to be skinned. I know I'm very soft, but still, word choice. 